I'm acting Swerving through the traffic, getting drunk, I'm G. drunk, I'm This the full red light, I done ran the night What's the deal, gang? So today we gonna be making a crochet ski mask, and I'm gonna be using a size eight needle and two pieces of yarn. But I'm gonna try to keep it broad enough so y'all can use different sizes of needles and different yarns and stuff like that. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our string, and we're gonna hold it with our thumb and the finger farther from my thumb, leaving two to three inches hanging, y'all. Remember that. Two to three inches. And we're going to wrap it and make an X when we wrap. Straight like that. It's really simple, y'all. I'm going to do it in slow-mo just in case y'all didn't get that. So you grab it. You wrap the first time diagonally. And then when you go around to wrap it one more time, you wrap it the opposite way, but diagonally still. Boom. Fold that over, and you got two lines. Okay, so after that, you want to take your needle, you want to go under the first string, over the second one, turn it, grab that second string, pull that under, and then twist it. Yeah, twist it. I know I wanted to describe that. <laughs> See, boom, straight like that, and then boom, twist it. That's what I was talking about. After you twist it, you go in between the two strings, and you grab that back one, pull it through. Bam! See? Easy. You got your ass a magic circle right there. And I want to just tell y'all, like, most crocheting artists is going to tell y'all to start with three and use that as your first, like, half double crochet. But I don't like that. I just, it's just a personal preference. So I just chain one and then start my little uh, stitches and use that first half double crochet as my first half double crochet instead of just chaining three and using that. But anyways, you're going to do eight half cup. <laughs> Wait, I'm about to slow it down for my beginners. So boom, under, take that, pull it. And boom, and make sure y'all crochet over top of the um tail that y'all left off that that i'm pulling right there yep 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 and then you pull that close and then crochet into the top a slip knot actually into the top of your um first stitch and for my beginners a slip knot is the easiest thing ever see you just pull some string through both loops straight like that Okay, now we're going to get started. Ho -ho. So for this row, you're just going to start your row off. And then I want y'all to put two half double crochets into every row. I mean, sh every stitch. <laughs> Okay, and now I'm going to show y'all what not to do. Y'all see that little half stitch right there? Don't crochet into that. Don't do it. I don't know why, but it messed my count up every single time. You're going to know when it's like a full stitch and a half stitch. That's a half stitch, baby. But anyways, we're on to the second row. And for this row, we're going to do one half double crochet to start. And then two. And then one. And then two. And we're going to continue that pattern. Or you can do two and then one. Two and then one. Either way, baby, you're getting the same amount at the end of the thing. Well, most people think it After this, with every row, you're just going to add one more stitch in between the increases. And I'm about to show y'all a renowned pattern in the next clip. For these next few rows, you're going to start and end the same way. The only thing that's going to change is the amount of half double crochets in between each increase. And remember, increase is just... The two little half double crochets and one stitch. And then HDC is just half double crochet. Okay, and after you do that, this is what it should look like. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, we getting there. Okay, okay, look at you. Then look at me, but look at you. Anyways, I um put mine on my wig head because I got a 22-inch wig head, and I heard that that's, like, the average size of a human's head. So, yeah, y'all see it's fitting around the top. Now, next, we're going to start the row off as normal, and we're going to do, like, normal stitches. Or no, that's not even what I want to say. We're going to do one stitch in each stitch. <laughs> we're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch. But we're only doing the back loops. See, hold on. Let me zoom in for y'all. Yeah, you see me. Back loops only. No front loops, fruit loops, none of that. This is going to give it the shape of a like hat. This is going to make it like form to your forehead because it otherwise is gonna look weird after you finish that row with just the back loops it's pretty simple from here just one half double crochet in each stitch and we're gonna do two rows just like this one half double crochet in each stitch this is how it should look around the 10th row. And this is me just scope. I put 10 stitches in between the start and the end of the um the eye part. Because, you know, it's like one big circle. Or that's for this one. Because this is an order that one of my friends made. So, yeah. Y'all see the little designs at the back? I will do a video about how to add designs if this video get enough hype. But, yeah. <laughs> okay, first of all, I lied. It's not 10. It's 8. And then you want to add four to whatever number of half double crochets that you skip for your mask. I mean, for your eye hole, because that's what we're going to call it. The little space in the front for your eyes is called eye hole now. And so, boom, I had eight. So I added four and now I'm, I have a chain 12. My chain is 12 chains long. 12 links long. How about that? Oh. <laughs> but yeah, then half double crochet next to the space that... You know, the end space or the beginning space, whatever you want to call it. And then, boom, continue with like normal until you get to the end. A little tip, if this is your first time, y'all, please only have double crochet one time before you start chaining. Because now you, then you're going to end up doing extra just like me. But anyways, we're going to stop one stitch before like the actual beginning of our I hold and then we're gonna flip our work start a half double crochet but don't finish it you know how y'all do that last loop and you pull it through and they make the final shape yeah I want y'all to pull that last what string pull whatever you want to do that last movement through the first chain of the mask boom that's it right there for your last movement Pull it through that stitch and through the other stitches. It's going to give it shape. I promise. Just listen to me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So after you do that, you continue with the same thing. One half double crochet in each stitch. And when you get to the other side, you're going to pull the string through the first chain of the eye hole as well as through the three stitches okay so to start the next row you're going to chain one and then you're going to pull through that loop that's closest to your stitches and then pull through your other stitch like a slip stitch and then you're going to start half double crocheting and you're going to have double crochet twice in this first stitch that's closest to the eye hole and then you're going to go all the way around one half double crochet in each stitch and then at the end, when you get back to the other side of the eye hole, you're going to do the same thing, but reverse. Okay, so now I've crocheted all the way around and I'm getting towards the end. And as y'all can see, I'm just going along with the pattern. But as I get to that last stitch and that last stitch, you want to do two half double crochets. And then for your final like pull through on your last half double crochet of the row you're gonna pull through the eye hole too like i taught y'all in the first place like the first time that i taught y'all how to do this yeah that 
And I just want to say before anybody got anything to say, say to me about how I'm recording, this is my first crocheting YouTube video. So I'm going to need y'all tread lightly in the comments or whatever y'all been thinking about like my field of view. I'm sorry. <laughs> I changed it towards the end to make it easier for me and y'all. But okay, to start this next row, we're done with the eye hole. So I'm going the opposite way and we're going to go all the way around. But this time, we're going to crochet into the loops of the eye hole that we have not touched yet. Now, I really want y'all to pay attention because this is where I really started messing up when I was making ski mask. That little dip on the last row, like, it used to mess me up every time. But we keep going. Crochet into the loop of the eye hole, y'all. Straight like that. It's so simple. It's going to be, like, flimsy, but, like. It'll come in, it'll come out right at the end, basically. And after this, I want y'all to just do one half double crochet in each stitch for two to three rows. Then we're gonna start decreasing. Okay, so basically the trick to decreasing when, when it comes to doing this mask is you got to pick up back where you left off at the pattern that we were doing in the beginning. Like, you know how we was doing seven half double crochets and then an increase. Now we're going to pick back up where we left off, which was at seven, and we're going to do eight half double crochets. And then instead of increasing, we're going to decrease to give it the shape. And after that, you just keep going. Then it's nine then a decrease then 10 then a decrease all the way until you get it right where you want it lengthwise but they never return so to keep the bunker safe i placed it and myself in standby mode if you're anything like the others then it has been an age since you had a home cooked meal or celebrated the holidays or oh, <clears throat> washed your clothes. Oh, yeah, we're not really holiday people. It's worse than I thought. You said, uh, if you made it this far, this is some like around what it should look like. And yeah, if you like the tutorial or have any feedback, please leave it in the comments. Like and subscribe if you want to see more like tutorials from your girl even if y'all don't like or subscribe i'm still gonna drop some more but yeah and if i was y'all i would just add like one more row just one half double crochet in each stitch just to finish it off i'm still going because she asked for a special request i haven't started on it yet but like still that's why i'm still going but if you made it this far it should be done so yeah y'all Bye. A nigga, and I'm back in a package. Swerving through the traffic, getting drunk. I'm G. It's the full red light. I done ran the night.